Right, okay. So what I've done, I've made a quick little uh, makeshift table. Just a toolbox. Slab of uh, aluminium unopened there that I can just rest all my bits and pieces on. Um, I am going to start with the crank sensor wiring. Now, what I've... Uh, what I'm doing is this crank sensor wiring, because it's been wrapped up on the reel for quite a long time, um, it bends and keeps twisting around. So as I'm pulling that out, what I'm doing is I'm getting the uh, the heat gun. I can't do it two-handed, otherwise I'll show you. And I'm just heating it as I pull it out, only a little bit, just to straighten it up and allow it to... Uh, otherwise, when you lay it down on the bench, it will just curl up in a big ball and it's just hard to work with. So I'm just giving a little bit of heat, straighten it out as I go, and uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, stripped off an inch or so of the shielding of the crank sensor wiring. Uh, so it is a shielded cable. You can see that's what the, um, the silver braided bit is there, just to keep it shielded with two wires in the middle, which will connect up to, the, to this connector, which in turn will go into the crank sensor. Now all I'm going to do is just lightly push back this shield in, just to uh, expose these wires a little bit more, um, so I can get on these to be able to take this shield in off. Before I do that, I am going to grab myself a little bit of heat shrink. Uh, I think that one may do. Let's, let's have a look. Maybe I should put the heat shrink on first. Might have been a bit easier. So yeah, note to self. Put the heat shrink on before I cut the shielding down. Yeah, I'm not going to get that on, I don't think. One last go and I might cut the show down off. Or cut the wire back and do it again. No, no, there we go, maybe. Yeah, there we go, look at that. It's about too soon. Right. Now to cut it off and give it another go. Right, okay, take two. So what I've done is I have put some heat shield in, or heat shrink, I should say, on the on the wire. So it's just on there right away. I had scored round with a knife just to allow me to remove the last little bit of uh, um, shield in on, on the cable, which exposes the braid. Now what I'm going to do is just push the braid back, just to allow me to get to the two wires, okay, and then what I'm going to do is just get my strippers and take the last couple of mil off the cable. Like that, there we go. So now what we have are some rubber grommets, just to keep the uh, keep the dirt and grime out. Maybe I should have put these on before I stripped it off as well, but we'll give it a go, we should be alright. There we go, so they're on there, like that. Then we've got the pins for the, for the plugs. I'm going to take one off each one and crimp them on there. Right, so there's my terminal ready in my tools. Oh, wrong way. Now, 
what I'm going to do is just feed one of the wires into the terminal. And crimp down. Right, okay, so that's that crimped onto the wire there, as you can see. The tug, which is secure. Then we're just going to push the rubber, the weather seal into that unit. Find the right size hole on the tool, crimp that down, and that's one done. There we go, both terminals connected with their seals. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to get the multi-plug, put the wires in there, and get them, get it finished off. Take the connector, number one, or number two is going to be the earth, so that will be this one. There we go, nice size fine click. And then second one. To go in. And there we go. Click. Terminals are in. Just got the last piece to go to stop them pulling out easily. There we go. And that plug is done. Well, almost done. Finally, last one we need to do is just, I'm going to pull the heat shrink up over the shield. Because the shielding on this end doesn't get terminated. It's only at the ECU end that we need to uh, earth that shield in. Just gonna put it over there like that. I'm gonna get the heat gun and shrink it down. Right, okay, so to attach the other end of the crank sensor wire into the connector is a little bit different to the connector itself because now we have to uh, take the shield in into consideration. So same as before, we stripped off an inch or so of the, uh, of the plastic shield in. Now we're just going to bunch up this uh, the, the braid inside it. Okay and then what we're going to do is just get a make a little hole in the braid. The pick and what we're going to try and do is hook both cables or wires out through that hole. Trying to leave the braid intact as much as possible. Like that. Right, with these uh, wires now, I well, essentially got three. I got my uh, signal wire, uh, ground wire, and my shielding wire. Now, I don't know if you can just connect a terminal directly onto the braid to fit into the connector. I mean, I assume that would work, but I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm doing is I have got a, another piece of wire here. I am going to crimp onto this wire using a open barrel crimp, which you can see set up there in my tools. I'm going to crimp it on 
heat shrink over it just to add a bit of rigidity to the wiring cut it off at the same length for the other ones and then connect the wiring terminal onto that right there you can see my uh, cable there is crimped onto my shoulder I'm just going to cut off some of the excess off the shielding. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some heat shrink, put it over all of the wires and just have that nice and secure on there. Right, there's the terminals on the wiring. Now uh, what I'm gonna do is I have made a reference of what connectors go where. Uh, I'm using T and B, top and bottom, just on the connectors there. Okay. And uh, yeah, I guess getting plugged in. And there we go, first wire done. Now I'm not going to go about and film all of these wires because it's all pretty much the same thing. I just want to show you the crank sensor wiring. This is a little bit different obviously with the shielding aspect of it. So what I'm going to do now is crack on, get as many of these done as I can today and then uh, show you the result. <laughs> 